friends and welcome to the channel. If you don't know me, my name is Heather and I run a small handmade business called Lemon Tree Corner where I make bags and wristlets and purses and project bags for makers like you. And if you've been here before, welcome back. I hope to have a fun week for you this week. And it's the last week of Christmas in Vlogtober. So feeling a little bit like I've done everything, even though I haven't completed everything. But just feeling a little burnt out with the two videos a week. Uh, when I started, I was like, oh, this is great. I got tons of content. And then I started the craft fairs, and I had tons of content from that. And now I'm just feeling like, uh, we have two videos left, and I don't even know what I'm going to do for those or what content I have. So I'm going to share a little bit with you about what we have going on this week and then of course we got to get back into the felt ornaments that's that's the big push and I'll be working on those next month as well but just so you know I have not forgotten <laughs> we're working on the felt ornaments and the Christmas blankets coming along really nicely so um, I've got a long drive tomorrow as a passenger in which I will be working on that blanket and hopefully moving quickly through that um, just share it where we left off with the felt ornaments. We have cut out one. I haven't added the, the white candy cane stripes to this yet, but you know, revisiting this week's later, I mean, once it's all done, I'm sure it's going to look fine. My applique stitch is pretty good. So they are what they are. I think the hardest part is just going to be cutting out like a nice even shape because it's definitely wonky so that'll be the difficult part of that and I got a package in the mail the cuckoo clock works again <laughs> so you gotta wait for the cuckoo clock to end here cuckoo Sure. This is why I don't wear necklaces, because they never like want to stay straight. And I'm getting really hot and my glasses are steaming up and I'm just trying to get through this intro and take the sweater off. <laughs> and now I gotta wait for all the cuckoos. There we go. Okay. So got a fun package this week from the UK. And it's all my new my new Christmas charms. So very excited about this, this is a little multi-pack. So we'll be um, stringing these along with the, on the lobster clasps to make our progress keepers. I don't know that you can see any of these, but we've got little mittens. They're cute little mittens. We've got Christmas trees. We've got um, Rudolph faces with antlers. Got the ornaments. They're very cute little ball ornaments. And then a multi pack. And then for the breast cancer survivors or anybody who really likes pink power, we've got a bunch of pink uh, lightning bolts. So those are fun. I also bought some cute bags because, like Allie's bags, you know, I thought, oh, that would be cute to put the progress keepers in if somebody orders, like, just a progress keeper. Or I don't want to get the progress keeper lost in the package of other stuff. So I had ordered these cute little bags, which turned out to be a lot smaller than I thought they were going to be. So basically, like, the card with the progress keeper is just going to fit in there, you know. And with the size of the progress keeper, I don't know if they're really going to fit. But those are cute, so we can put those together, and then I'll have those at the next show. So that'll be a, a good little project for me to work on. And I'm going to show you um, my present from my mom. So my mom is an artist, and uh, she paints. She paints pictures like based on other artwork or a photo, and uh, she hadn't really made anything for me yet. And she said, "What do you want? What do you want?" And uh, originally I had picked out something from our honeymoon in Kauai, and, but we already have 
the artwork, like all the spaces taken up in the Hawaiian bedroom. And I was looking around the living room and I have this beautiful plein air painting of a lighthouse that was commissioned for me. And I was trying to think of something that would complement that. And I thought, oh, when I go on my Oregon trip, we'll see what we like. And, um, you know, that would be nice. Maybe one of the lighthouses from Oregon. I can have her paint the lighthouse and then I'll have the two lighthouses next to each other on the wall. And when we got to Multnomah Falls, it was just so beautiful and impactful. And I said, wow, that would be a really cool painting. I was also trying to think of mom and things she's done and things she hasn't done. And I don't remember seeing any like moving water or anything. So I thought, well, that might be fun for her to have a change of pace. So uh, I found a photograph on Pinterest of the falls in the autumn. We weren't there in the autumn, but um, had a beautiful fall color palette. So that's what I wanted and sent it off to her and she made it happen. And I really don't know how people do this. <laughs> I don't know if I can get it back far enough for you to see. It's just so cool. It's just very cool in the autumn colors and the moving water and I don't know how, I don't know how anybody does this. <laughs> it's just crazy to me that you would be able to, um, you know, you got to like lay out the groundwork and construct it all. It's just crazy. And she won third place. So our local fair is the hometown fair and she enters art in that every year and so this got the third place ribbon, which is very cool. So I'm going to keep that with the frame. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to attach it to the front of the frame or tuck it in the back in a pocket, but just very cool. So thanks, Mom. I really appreciate it. And it will be hanging up next to my lighthouse in the living room. And I think that's about it because I can't think of anything else to do. So um, I'll share with you. We went out to lunch. My mom and my sister and I we went out to lunch and then we drove up to Palos Verdes and I got to show them one of my favorite views from quarantine up there. So that was nice. And just some nice time to catch up. Uh, haven't been in person for a while. So that was really nice. And um, we're also going up to Ojai tomorrow to uh, my brother-in-law's house. And I'm going to see my sister-in-law. We're birthday, birthday buddies. We're a day apart. Uh, so we're going to have fun with them tomorrow. And I'll take you along, probably not film a lot of that, but take you along with that. And I think that's it. So let's get started and get back to work. It's cold outside, but the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night underneath the mistletoe. And I've gotten you a present that I put on. Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. The snow is falling down, and the storm is on its way. But as long as you're around, everything will be okay. Cause all I want to do is spend this holiday with you. Tomorrow is Tomorrow it is Christmas, the first for you and me. Oh. 
Okay, so we are back again with our candy cane. And it has been in a timeout. I got quite frustrated. So now we're gonna go back again. I don't know that I'm even gonna draw these on here because it's stripes and I can just make that up as I go. So, we're gonna get our embroidery floss out. We're going to use the white. I already have some white here. Using three strands. That's what I was just wondering. How many strands am I using? 
Okay. Ugh, it's all tangled now. So. Do that. We'll keep this one strand for another project. Just kind of keep it separate there. And I've got my embroidery needle. This is just one strand of fabric as well. This is what I was using to put the buttons on. We still have another set of buttons to do, but I believe those are regular buttons. So I'm probably going to use a color that's going to match better. Oh, okay. I'm going to break this into three. Yeah, so I think all in all, concentrating on these projects this month has really helped me get somewhere. Um, it's just a question of if I've gotten enough done, but you know, that's my own deadline. Good news about doing this in October is that we've got a whole nother month to go before these have to get ready, or be ready, so. I think we should be okay. Ah, so well. I was doing so well. Okay, save this for another project. Keep track of which one's three strands and which one's six strands. Okay, there we go. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys what I got at World Market. I had this really beautiful pumpkin. It's a glass pumpkin, but it has these neat layers to it. Kind of this candy layer to it, so that's very nice. Um, and it was only like 12 bucks, which, you know, stuff at World Market's pretty expensive. So I thought that was pretty good. I'm not sure where I'm going to put this yet. And then they had a deal for two ornaments for $6. So these are the two I picked out. A mushroom. I've been wanting to collect mushrooms and after seeing my um, measuring spoons the other day made me think of a mushroom ornament. And then we've got this cute one. You know, it's got the, obviously the snow's not going to blow around, but it's got Santa and the tree, which I thought was cute. And this is what inspired us to get the uh, twine for our advent project. So. Very excited about those. I have to put those with the Christmas stuff. Well, obviously not the pumpkin, but the other two. Okay. Oh, and I did my nails again. I thought that was appropriate for thanks yeah, for Halloween. It's actually a very dark blue, but it kind of looks black as well. so funny, I'm such a visual person, that to not have a, um, a video tutorial to go with these is very difficult for me. Just have to concentrate. Ah, I can't thread this at all. Maybe use a bigger needle. Yeah. This is not really an embroidery needle. This is the needle I was using to put things on. And he's cute. I made him as an experiment. Um, but I have nothing to do with him, so he's going to be a needle minder for me. And it doesn't really say what needle to use. Hmm. I don't know. I have a wide variety of needles. This one at least has a wider eye, which should help us out a lot. So let's use that one. Ugh. Cannot thread the needle. There we go. Okay. Let me do 
do some candy cane stripes here. And we're just doing a back stitch.
Okay, so I have graduated into the larger bag. I don't know if you guys remember this. This is the first bag I made as part of the channel back in January. So it's a nice big roomy bag. It doesn't quite work as a project bag because it's got this part in here, which kind of holds it together. And then it's got the, you know, the button closure here. So my yarn tends to get caught on these two pieces and they flop inwards, obviously, because that's the way it's designed to go. So not the, not the greatest, but it is the largest thing I have right now. The next thing I'm gonna do is make an even larger project bag for this guy. Okay, so this is as far as we've gotten here. I can get it closer here. So we did that one. We finished the rib and we're starting on this next one, which is being called a bead stitch, which is really interesting. So this one looks like this. It's like two rows of single crochet and then we're going to do this larger stitch with, uh, we're going to wrap it around and then two rows of single crochet. So we're coming along on stripe seven. I've still got three, four more kits to go after these three stripes. Um, but just thought I would show you some progress. So here's what we've got so far, looking good. I really like the variety of stitches going on here in colors. So that's nice. Okay, and with that, I'm gonna leave you here for this Wednesday vlog. And then we've got one more left. And in the next vlog, I'm gonna talk about um, plans for next year and kind of refocusing the channel, if you will. <laughs> so we'll talk about that next time. And just wanna wish you guys a wonderful week. Hope that you're doing well wherever you are. And I will see you next time. Love you. Bye.